Okay, this is a quick update on my 1995 Hilux Surf. Well, at least to the people over here in North America and other parts of the country, and also worldwide outside Japan, uh, Forerunner. I just want to make a little quick update on the status on this engine. This is a, for those who don't know what this code name of this engine, this is a 3.0 liter V6, but also known to the Toyota enthusiast, the 3VZE. Um, this engine is, well actually was produced back in the 80s actually, when the first generation 4Runner came, uh, came out. So this has been around since the 80s. This, this engine, this type of engine has been around since the 80s. So it evolved all the way to 1995. Uh, which is this particular Forerunner's last model year until 1996 where they move on to the third gen, which a lot of people loved. So, uh, I've, if you've seen some of my previous, my previous video on working on this car, we changed the valve cover gaskets, um, and I, I should say I bitched and moaned because this side of the valve cover gasket, the passenger side, um, that was a pain in the ass to get through, but uh, we were able to get that fixed and replace the gasket. So that's a good thing. The driver's side is pretty easy since we just got to take off the man. Uh, um, we just got to take off the, the throttle body, the this part of the intake, and that was it. It's, it was it wasn't that hard. So um, the only thing is was this little gasket that go the gasket that goes through here. Um, this right here that you're looking at, this part right here where it says Toyota and V6 3.0 electronic fuel injection, that's what the EFI stands for. Um, there's a gasket that, that sandwich, that's sandwiched between the intake manifold and the throttle body. Uh, this is the throttle body, this is where, uh, that's whenever you push the gas pedal, uh, this thing moves around and it opens up a little gate like this. So, um, uh, that had a cracked gasket. Uh, I accidentally broke the other gasket, the old one, because I was cleaning up some, cleaning up the mess that I made down on the floor. Well, it's not clean, but um, when I was throwing it away, oops, I accidentally broke the throttle body gasket. So what, what I had, what we actually did is we just cut a piece of cardboard and cut holes in it so it so it's shaped like a gasket that's kind of a stupid fix but you know it's just only temporary it's not it's not something permanent but the car ran just fine it, it had no problems it wasn't overheating the car did pretty good with that but for those who are like uh, really stuck on something like that kind of gasket especially a throttle body um just Keep in mind that they don't, the auto parts store don't sell those things very often. You got to special order them because who, uh, who goes to auto parts store just to buy um, throttle body gaskets? Hardly anybody. But, uh, but if you're in a rush and you need to get the car out of, out of your garage or out of the shop as soon as possible, that's a temp good temporary fix for you. But now, this came in the mail. In the mail this came into the store that I, I actually ordered this from this is a felpro valve cover gasket um, and that's going to be replacing that temporary cardboard gasket so yeah so aside from that this engine is running pretty well it has had no problems especially when this car had uh, 94,000 miles when I actually got this car from my uncle a couple of months before I got my license back in 2018 and now it has 105,000 miles so this is one of the very few second gen forerunners with under 150,000 miles you will not well at least you will not find any other second gen forerunners with that low miles and if you guys don't believe me I'll go ahead and show it to you Hundred and five thousand miles. You will not find a second gen forerunner with that low miles. 
or at least under 150,000 miles. There are some forerunner, second gen forerunners out there. I was there. There's a second gen forerunner. I think about the same year as this, or 1994, I believe, that had like 50,000 thousand miles, and that's like the lowest. But at least here in California, where I live, um, there's no other second gen forerunners out there that has that has under 150,000 miles. But enough of me yapping at you how low mileage this car is. Um, that's not even the point of this video. This point of the video is I just got a new throttle body gasket. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and install that. And yeah, so installing that throttle body gasket, I just need to go ahead and just remove those screws and take this, uh, th at least this part of the intake and the air filter and stuff like that. So, yeah. All right. That's it for now. I'm going to start getting to work on this thing. Once again, I do apologize for the vertical camera angle because this is the only way I can get close to a dash cam. Hopefully by this coming Tuesday, I'll, I'll buy myself a uh, dash cam. But I'm just gonna be test driving this, test driving the car after I put that valve cover gasket. Have the windows open just so I can hear what's going on with that engine. It is kind of raining a little bit. That's all right. It's not that bad. doing pretty good.
close those windows. Car thing pretty good. test drive. Hope you guys enjoyed this little quick update on my 1995 Hilux Surf. Well, at least in Japan this thing is called the Hilux Surf. Other places in the world, especially North America, the Forerunner. Talk to you guys again soon.